In this study, what we have found is that a common technology called OCT, which you use uh, in the ophthalmology clinics, is useful for monitoring the evolution of multiple sclerosis. This is a very common technology, very easy, just 10 minutes uh, without any inconvenience for the patient, and is able to measure the thickness of the retina. The retina is part of the brain, is composed by neurons, and multiple sclerosis damages some neurons. Because this technology is very accurate in order to measure the loss of these neurons, we are able to monitor the evolution of multiple sclerosis. In this study, we have put uh, more than 20 centers together and 800 patients, and we were able to identify uh, the accuracy of this technology to identify which patients are, have higher risk of uh, developing uh, more disability along the disease. The good thing with, uh, by imaging the retina is that we can use laser technologies, and laser technologies are 1,000 times more powerful than other technologies, for example, like uh, magnetic resonance imaging. With this technology, we aim to be able to monitor uh, its, uh, patients with multiple sclerosis, but also patients with other neurological diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, or brain trauma. In parallel of using OCT, we aim to develop other LASIK technologies or electrophysiology technology that we can apply to the retina, because the retina is a very accessible and easy to study uh, part of the brain because we can uh, access from the outside. And the idea is to develop uh, new imaging or other type of tools that uh, allow us to develop personalized medicine for retina and brain diseases.